Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So I'm here in sunny and warm uh, Canada. I've got my Zion gimbal here, Crane version 2. Now I'm going to be going through how to set this up and how to balance it as well as the different modes that it comes with. And I'm going to be showing you some nice footage in all three different types of modes. So let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so the Crane V2, you need to basically balance your camera on top of the plate here so that it doesn't keep falling to the sides of forwards. The reason we're doing that is because if the camera is balanced itself, you won't be hearing any motor noise from the actual gimbal as well. You can uh, do a lot of the footage from having it balanced as well. First thing you need to do is get the screw that comes with it and put that underneath the plate. So one other point I wanted to make sure you do before you begin is there's three different types of axes on this gimbal. So the bottom one is the pan axis, the one at the back is the roll axis and then the one on the side here is the tilt axis. The right hand side of your camera should be against the tilt axis here, it's just like that. If you do it the other way, depending on where your gimbal has been tilted and you do the left side of the camera against the tilt axis, then what would happen is when you pan using the joystick up and down, the camera will go side to side instead. So make sure you do that, don't make that mistake, and have it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this in from the uh, bottom screw panel on the camera. Right, so you need to make sure you balance the camera. So to do this, there's four different points that you need to unscrew and move backwards and forwards. So you have screws in various different places here. So you have one here on the left, on the pan axis at the bottom here. You have one underneath the plate, which you can unscrew like this, and that moves the plate backwards and forwards like so. And I recommend that you leave this, all the screws here just a little bit looser so you can play around with it to make it balanced. You have one at the top here on the roll axis, so you just unscrew that and that moves backwards and forwards like so. And then you have one on the tilt axis at the front here so you can unscrew that as well. And that basically changes the elevation on the height of the camera up and down. So once you have it near enough to perfect balance, it doesn't need to be 100% perfect, it can be almost there, just like this, then you're ready to turn it on and start using it. So now just to give you a quick explanation about the different types of modes. Now it comes here in three different modes. So to power it on, you hold down the power button like this, and it will stabilize the gimbal straight away, and you hold it for about three seconds, and it will flash blue, plus a few blinking orange lights, and then back to blue. You'll see it straightened it out. That's one of the other reasons why you need to have it balanced, otherwise it will be too much pressure for the gimbal to actually straighten it out for you. Okay, so by default, the pan following mode, it locks all of the axes, the roll axes and the tilt axes, apart from the pan axes here at the bottom, allows you to move the gimbal left and right, but also it allows you to use a joystick only on up and down. Left and right would not work in this mode. So here's an example. This is the one that's enabled. So you move it left and you can move it right. It's got smooth pan. But if I wanted to use a joystick to go up and down, I can do that. So as you see here, it tilts it like this. Now if I press the mode button again, it enters locking mode. Now all the three axes, the pan, tilt and roll axes are, are locked and they do not work at all. This allows you to position the camera in one place and you get to record everything at a single point. But just remember for manual control in this mode, the joystick will work in both left and right and up and down. So right now, you can see, no matter where I move it, the camera is still locked at one point. And it's good to get maybe 360 shots of a particular object or of a landmark or something like that. But also, if you just wanted to use this only with the joystick, you can place it down and just use manual control in all different directions, left, right, up and down, as such. So everything pans left and right. And I can also go up and then down. So the last mode, press the mode button again. This is following mode. It enables all the three axes and also it allows you to use the joystick only up and down from the tilt axis. So it gives you freedom of movement. You can move in any direction you want as with the gimbal itself without using the joystick. It will follow, but this does take a little bit of getting used to because the camera can start swinging a little bit uncontrollably. This is probably going to be the least mode that you use, but again, it's there if you are sort of a professional photographer, filmographer, you can get some nice shots and hands like this as well and also you can use the joystick to go up and down. Lastly, there is a fourth mode which is the selfie mode 
all you have to do is triple press the mode button and the camera will turn all the way around and take a video of yourself. Like so. It's really good if you've got a wide angle lens and it works really cool. I'm going to show you some footage of that in a second as well. And if you want to get back to the front, just triple press the button again and it moves back forward. So that's it guys. I'm going to be showing you footage of all the different four modes that I've just shown you now. And I hope you do like it. If you do have any questions and want to know a little bit more about Design Crane 2 and what you can do, then please do drop a comment below. You can also connect your camera to the Zion Crane as well and have it controlling the zoom levels and take pictures from there. But I'll save that for another video. So make sure you subscribe and you won't miss that. Now sit back, enjoy it, and watch some of the nice footage I've got here in Banff National Park here in Canada. And I hope you do like the video and I will see you next time.